This video is presented to you by www.testpreparder.com. Dear students, in the previous session of Laws of Motion, I talked about different forces that we encounter in mechanics. In this session, I will talk about free body diagram. But before I start the discussion of free body diagram, I wanted to show you an observation with the help of a video clip. This is the weighing machine used to measure the weight. Now I am going to measure the weight of this kid. Now you can see this is the weight of the kid 26.8. Now I have kept the weighing machine in an inclined manner. Now you can see the new weight weighing machine is showing 26.1 kg. It is a reduced weight now. Dear students, here we are getting two different values of weight. The value has decreased when we measured the weight on an inclined plane. Is this any kind of magic? Dear students, to understand this, you need to draw the free body diagram. On a flat surface, when you tried to measure your weight, what are the different forces acting upon you? One is gravitational pull, that is mg. Another is normal reaction by the flat surface, that I will write as n. So, here N is equal to mg. Now, in this case, when you are on an inclined plane, here, what are the different forces acting upon you? This is the mg. And this is the normal reaction. This is the normal reaction by the inclined plane upon you. And if you resolve this mg vector, let us say this as theta this will be 90 minus theta so this will become theta so this will be mg cos theta so in this case what is happening n is equal to mg cos theta you can clearly see that this mg cos theta this vector is smaller than this vector that is why the weighing machine is showing a less value when you are on an inclined plane. So, dear students, it is very, very important to know the free body diagram. Now, what is free body diagram? You can see here, it is a diagram consists of a system that is body or object separated from its surrounding that must be isolated system showing vectors representing the forces acting on it now question arises how to draw this diagram i have written different points here to draw the free body diagram first isolate the system second point identify all forces acting upon it due to all other objects other than the system dear students please note any force applied by the system will not be included here third point indicate the magnitudes and directions of the forces in the diagram now, to understand this, I will take different examples here. This is example number one. Here it is written, draw the free body diagram of a book which is at rest on a table. This is the book. This is the table. You can see it's a flat surface. Now, to draw the free body diagram, first identify the forces. First force is actually a field force. That is gravitational force weight. Second is contact force. 
this book is in contact with this flat surface contact force and that is normal reaction normal reaction so if i isolate this book from here if i isolate this book from here then i can say one force is in the downward direction that is mg gravitational force and one is the normal reaction by the table on the book so there are two forces acting upon this book so this is the free body diagram of this book now another example this is example number 2 here it is written the three blocks of masses m1 m2 and m3 are placed one over the other in the following manner draw free body diagram for the three blocks as i told you for free body diagram you have to keep in mind three points number 1 identify the forces number 2 isolate the system number 3 indicate the magnitude and the direction of the force so in this particular example what are the different forces first field force that we write as weight weight of this m1 weight of this m2 block and weight of this m3 block that will be m1g downward direction m2g downward direction m3g downward direction second contact force contact force in this case is what normal reaction normal reaction normal reaction first of all between m1 and m2 let us say n1 this normal reaction n1 this m1 will exert on m2 and this m2 will exert on m1 second between m2 and m3 let us say n2 and third between m3 and this surface and this surface that you can say as n3 so these are the different forces for weight we can say m1g m2g and m3g now if we want to draw the free body diagram of this m1 block so isolate this m1 block from here if i isolate from here then this is m1 so one force is in the downward direction that is m1g and normal n1 will be applied in the upward direction so this is the free body diagram of this first block now for the second block for the second block if i try to draw the free body diagram then m2 g will be in the downward direction and here what will be the normal reaction because of this m3 block n2 so n2 will be in the upward direction at the same time n1 this n1 normal reaction will be applied by this block m1 on this m2 so n1 will be in the downward direction n1 will be in the downward direction so on this block m2 there are three forces m2g n1 and n2 now if i try to draw free body diagram of this third block so isolate this third block from the system if i isolate this third block first force is what field force that is m3g my point is clear m3g and and this surface will apply normal reaction n3 on this m3 block so that will be in the upward direction n3 this m2 this m2 block 
is applying what normal reaction n2 on this m3 block so that will be in the downward direction so i will write n2 like this so here also here also you will find three forces m3g n2 and n3 so this is the free body diagram of this m3 block dear students let me tell you a very important point here that if blocks are placed one over the other on a horizontal surface then normal reaction normal reaction between any two blocks will be equal to the weights of the blocks over the common surface for example if i say the normal reaction between m2 n3 that is n2 and this block m3 is exerting normal reaction n2 on this block m2 and this m2 is exerting normal reaction n2 on this block m3 so this n2 will be written what n2 will be m1g plus m2g because the normal reaction between two blocks will be equal to the weights of the blocks over the common surface similarly n3 this is the common surface and what is the weight m1 m2 m3 three blocks over this that is why n3 will be m1g plus m2g plus m3g and if i write for n1 this is the common surface and above this we have only one block that is why it will be m1g let me repeat here if blocks are placed one over the other on a horizontal surface the normal reaction between two will be equal to the weights of the blocks over the common surface my point is clear now i'll take another example this is example number 3 a sphere of mass m is resting on a v shaped surface in this manner draw the free body diagram of the sphere so first of all identify the forces what are the different forces number 1 pull of the earth pull of the earth that is weight second normal reaction that is a contact force so first of all how many contact points are there this is the contact point this is the contact point so there will be two normal reactions let us say n1 and n2 so if i try to draw the free body diagram of this sphere i will isolate this sphere from here if i isolate this sphere from here this is the point of contact this is the point of contact mg mg will be like this in the downward direction and normal reaction n1 like this normal reaction n2 will be like this keep in mind normal reaction if you extend this vector it will pass through the center of this sphere so this is the free body diagram of the sphere my point is clear i'll take another example this is example number 4 here it says a block of mass m is pulled on a smooth horizontal surface with the help of a string making an angle theta with the horizontal in the following manner draw the free body diagram of the block we have to draw the free body diagram of this block so we have to isolate this block from the system now identify the different forces first it is the 
gravitational pull that is weight i will write mg in the downward direction second contact force contact force between this block and this surface that contact force is the normal reaction normal reaction let us say n this normal reaction on this block will be in the upward direction this normal reaction is exerted by the surface on this block m and there will be no friction because the surface is smooth third the pull of this string the pull of the string will be in the direction in the direction like this theta angle from the horizontal so i will indicate the magnitude and direction of different forces on this block for the free body diagram so mg is like this normal reaction will be like this and the tension and the tension will be in this direction and that is at an angle theta so these are the different forces and this is the free body diagram now another example this is example number 5 Here it says a rod AB rests with the end B on rough horizontal ground and the end A against a smooth vertical wall. The rod is uniform and of mass m. Draw the free body diagram of the rod. Three points. isolate the system identify the forces and indicate the magnitude and direction of the forces so if i isolate this rod from here it is like this now first force first force will be what pull of the earth pull of the earth that will be mg an important point is since the rod is uniform the mg will act where at the mid point of the rod so i will write like this now the second is contact force how many contact points are here one is at a another is at b and this wall this wall is smooth so there will not be any frictional force but but there will be normal reaction normal reaction will be what perpendicular to the line of contact so it will be like this here if i try to draw it will be like this let us say any and this point of contact here also there will be normal reaction like this so i will write in b here but this surface is not smooth this is a rough surface so there will be a frictional force between rod and this surface so frictional force will be in this direction that will try to resist the relative motion of this rod so i will write frictional force in this direction so this is the free body diagram of this rod ab now i'll take another example here this is example number 6 here it says draw the free body diagram of blocks of masses m1 m2 and m3 and pulley in the following case pulley and string are massless identify the forces identify the forces uh, there will be gravitational force for this block it will be m1g downward direction and m2g for this block again downward direction m3g for this block again in the downward direction second these blocks are attached with the string 
so there will be pulling force tension let us say here t1 here t2 since pulley and string are massless that is why the tension the tension in this string both sides of the pulley will be same t2 t2 and this pulley is also attached with this ceiling with the help of the string that is why here you can say t3 okay so these are the different forces now isolate the system let us say this block m1 so for this block m1 for this block m1 one is mg downward direction and another is pulling force due to this string that will be in the upward direction t1 so this is the free body diagram of this m1 block now for m2 m2 if i try to draw then t1 t1 will be in the downward direction that is because of this string t1 will be in the downward direction t2 that is the pulling force will be in the upward direction t2 in the upward direction and now gravitational force of the earth that will be in the downward direction like this so i'll write m2g this is the free body diagram of this block m2 now for this third block if i try to draw the free body diagram one will be the gravitational pull of the earth that is m3g and another will be what t2 only one string is attached with this m3 block so this will be the free body diagram of the block m3 now if i try to draw free body diagram of this pulley i will do this pulley is massless so there will not be any uh, pull of the earth the t3 will be in the upward direction and because of the string t2 will be like this and here also t2 will be like this so this is the free body diagram of the pulley now i'll take one more example here this is example number 7 here it says three blocks a b and c of masses m1 m2 and m3 are attached with string passing through a massless pulley in the following manner draw the free body diagram of the three blocks as we know three points isolate the system identify the forces and indicate the magnitudes and the directions of the forces so first if i isolate this m1 this is the surface this is m1 now m2 in the same manner if i isolate it will be like this for m3 if i isolate it is like this okay now identify the forces first it will be gravitational force for this block a it will be m1g in the downward direction for this block it will be m2g and for this block it will be m3g now second contact force this m1 is in contact with this uh, surface that is why normal reaction let us say n1 here if i say n2 and for this block and this surface let us say n3 now these blocks are also attached with string so here there will be a pulling force tension so third is tension let us say here t1 here t2 and this pulley is massless and due to which the tension in this string will also be t2 so this side and this side both sides the tensions will be same 
now for this a block the m1g will be like this normal reaction this is the point of contact the normal reaction will be perpendicular to the line of the contact it will be like this so i will write n1 and this t1 is the pulling force it will be like this so this is the free body diagram of this block a now for block b it will be m2g like this and normal reaction n2 will be like this now for this m2 this m2 is attached with this string so there will be a tension pulling force t1 like this and this m2 is also attached with this string so there will be a pulling force t2 like this so this is the free body diagram of this block b now for block c there will be a gravitational pull m3g normal reaction will be perpendicular to the surface like this i will write n3 here now this m3 is this block c is attached with this string so there will be a pulling force tension t2 like this so this is the free body diagram of the block c now i will take one more example here this is example number 8 here it says two spheres of masses m1 and m2 are placed in rest between two vertically smooth walls draw free body diagram of the two spheres so there are two spheres first identify the forces there will be gravitational pull m1g downward direction here m2g downward direction then contact force since the walls are smooth there will not be any frictional force but contact force normal so points of contact this is the point of contact this is the point of contact this is the point of contact and this is the point of contact now isolate the system for this bigger block if i try to draw the free body diagram it will be mg in the downward direction so i will write m1g and let us say this normal reaction as n1 here also normal reaction so let us say n2 and here that is n3 this normal reaction is because of the contact of the sphere with this vertical wall this n2 is because of the contact of this sphere with this horizontal surface and this n3 is because of the contact of this sphere bigger sphere with this smaller sphere so this will be n3 so this is the free body diagram of this bigger sphere now the smaller one here there is a point of contact and then the point of contact is here so one will be like this that will be n3 same as this and from this side it will be let us say n4 and mg will be downward so let us say m2g this is the free body diagram of the sphere m2 dear students i hope you have understood how to draw the free body diagram in the next video session i will talk about first law of motion thank you This video is presented to you by www.testpripadda.com. Testpripadda.com provides free audio-visual lectures of different subjects by expert faculties. Free online tests prepared by expert faculties. 
to students who are preparing for engineering or medical entrance exams or planning to take exams like KVPY, Olympiad, etc. It provides a platform where students can interact with mentors to improve their performance in the exams. The mission of this online medium is to help students to achieve their goals. Log on to www.testpripadda.com to watch free video lectures on different topics, to download free revision notes, to take free chapter-wise online tests, progressive tests and mock tests, to discuss doubts with mentors, Thank you for watching the video. To stay up to date with the latest videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on our Facebook page, Test Prep Adda. All the best.